welcome back. So today, my first attempt to carbon fiber wrap. We're gonna do white on the body and black on the hood. Don't have a shop, so we're doing it outside with an umbrella. Um, all my studies have found out that wrap tack is a uh, coating that you put on the car before you start wrapping. And also we have 3M edge sealer, which is really good around edges that may catch wind. So that way it lasts longer. First thing we're gonna do is remove this antenna. We got everything sanded, primed, and we are going to do the wrap tack first. When you purchase this, it will come in a bag like this with a rag in it. And as you can see, a lot of it leaked out. So the rag is already saturated. So rather than using a new rag, I'm gonna reuse this rag and we're just going to soak it real good. Not a good idea to put on your windshield, but things happen, you can wash it off. It is a water-based product. We wanna coat everything that we're gonna wrap. This is for uh, stickers, uh, emblems, anything that you want on the car to stay in place. Okay, we're just gonna let this dry. And watching a few YouTube out, or YouTubers out there, um, thanks for all your advice. Um, the biggest advice that I got was to let it dry before applying your wrap. When you leave it wet, you will run into problems. So next thing we're gonna do is do my edge seams where I'm gonna seam it, and then we'll start cutting our wrap. My plan is to wrap this section first to this corner, and then using this uh, tape that has a wire in it that will give me a clean cut when I do my overlay of the top coming down and I'm going to seal it right here so that it doesn't catch air. We're also going to be putting the spoiler up here that was normally on the tailgate of the hatchback. Um, so first let's open the window. I'm going to give yourself a little extra space I got here and we're going to be cutting it right up here. And it looks pretty straight. Okay, before I do this, I will apply the 3M edge sealer. It's going to go around the window and where we're going to end with our film. Now, this stuff seems a little watery, so I'm a little concerned. So hopefully we don't make too big of a mess. Basically a, a glue. Now what I was told and what I heard was you got to be very careful with this stuff. If once you set your wrap on this, you could lift this glue off the car. So make sure before you set it that this has dried first. And when you're ready to set this, you set it in one shot so that you do not make a mistake. We're gonna cut it up here at this point and a new one is gonna overlap and be cut at this point. 
So there will be a little bit of overlap. I'm okay, that piece there will cover it. You know, this is my first wrap, so I don't expect it to be perfect, but I'm gonna do the best I can. And that's what we're here for, to do the best we can. And I think this is a good thing to use anywhere where you can get uplift due to wind resistance. Now, of course, this is a Prius, so, you know, it's not going to be doing 110 on the freeway, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, let's see how long this dries. So we've given it... Uh, half an hour to dry so it's, it's no longer tacky so let's slide this over okay, okay so let's peel this off knife here. Got my uh, squeegee. So before I attempted this, I did try to wrap something else just to get an idea how this stuff sticks. Okay, let's double check to make sure I didn't pull it too much. Ooh, that is very close. I think we'll be okay. Alright, get the rest of this off. Be careful with little creases like that. We can uh, heat gun that out, as they say. Ooh. Sealer. Yep, head sealer. Just to the joint between the first layer and the second layer. Now I know you people out there are going to say it's not the way to do it, but I don't want to pay someone. I want it to look nice. And I like to do everything myself. say you don't need this but this spot right here is going to get a lot of wind and I want to make sure it stays down because once it starts to pull up from this spot the rest has failed. We're also going to be putting our track back in here so it's 
sticky. So we're going to be wrapping this in two different ways here. This gets wrapped to this point and then this roof gets wrapped by itself. And the reason is there's a plastic trim that goes back in here, which we took off a while back. Way back at the beginning. Okay. I'm gonna tuck it under a little bit. While I'm doing this, I might as well use that little piece and get my mirror done. Same thing. Be careful not to put too much on this because you don't want it to show through your wrap. Put it on too thick, it's fine. Don't have to worry about drips. You can clean this up. It smells like it's an oil product, so you should be able to use paint thinner to clean it up. Uh, I have to read the label, it might be um, alcohol, but uh, either one of those will clean it up if you get it on your glass or on your, uh, try not to get it on your upholstery. That will not come off. I remember that. Now we're going to do the top. The top should be pretty simple. There's no really hard corners in it. So let's get started.
inside now. The roof is all done. So, let's do this. nicer all right as you can see i practiced on the mirror with that little piece that i had left over i will film the other mirror putting it head sealer all the way around making sure so you get all the way close to the edge that's why they call it edge sealer try not to leave high spots because it will show. All right, give it a few minutes and we'll wrap it. Let's do the mirror.
those down here. I can't get rid of them. So I may have to redo this one later. All right, there you are. Black carbon fiber wrap on the hood. Back. And the mirrors. All right, next, we gotta do the white. Hello, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe, and you'll see us make the ladder rack. It's coming up next.